Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Dom and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to create a download image button using HTML, CSS and JavaScript, all right? Now the scenario I'm going to be uh, showing you guys is this one right here where you might have an image on your page and you would like to provide the user with a way to download it with a click of a button. So there are a couple of ways to go about doing this. I'm going to be showing you the easy way first and then the second way which um, is not as straightforward but it does produce a more uh, robust solution if you were to add multiple images to the page and it makes things a little bit easier. So going inside the text editor right here, let's begin with that simple solution. So we can see here I've got this image tag right below and I've got the source going to seagull.jpg. I've also applied some basic CSS to the image just to make it look a bit neater on the screen here. But to provide your users with a way to download the image, it's going to be as simple as putting an anchor tag right below it with an href going to the same source. In this case here, seagull.jpg. Now, inside the anchor tag content, you can say something like download image, just like that. And then as an attribute, you simply add download. Now, if I save this and go back in the browser and refresh, what you'll see is you've got this download image button. If I was to click on that link, it is going to download it to my computer. And that is your solution right there. Okay. Now, of course, you can add your own CSS styling to the anchor tag to make it look like a button if you wish. Now, one of the drawbacks I see to this solution is that you have to duplicate the href. Okay, so wherever you uh, have an image tag, you will also need to have an anchor tag with the exact same href. And you also need to remember to add the download attribute to that. Okay. And it also might be a little bit tricky to have to style up your anchors to look like a button. So the second way about, sorry, the second way of going about doing this is going to be to essentially have the same solution, but let JavaScript do the heavy lifting. Okay, so how do we go about doing this? Well, if I get rid of this anchor tag right here, we can instead put a button just like this and also give it a type of button. And now as an attribute, you would say data dash download equal to then specify the ID of the image tag, which you want to download. In this case here, I'm going to say my image just like that. As the button text, we can also say download image just like before. And if you want to apply some styles to the button, you can give this a class of button and you might have an existing uh, styling class for your buttons. If you do use that, if not, you can simply create one. So I'll go ahead and just create uh, a new CSS rule set for the class of button here. I'm going to be giving this a padding of 6px top and bottom and 12px left and right, a margin of 0.5 em top and bottom and zero left and right, a background of the decode green color 009578 and a text color of white. Okay, a font weight of bold, and I might just stop here for a second. And by the way, guys, of course, this all here is up to you. You can make this whatever color you want. If I go back in the browser refresh, we now have something like this. Okay, so it is, of course, much more natural to style a button tag as opposed to a anchor tag. Um, some might argue, but either way, we can hop down and add some more styling. So we can say here a border of none an outline of none and a cursor of pointer. I'll save this back in the browser refresh and we have something like this. So now we have this styled download button and we have this data dash download. So let me talk a bit more about this. So basically this is a custom data attribute that we define ourselves. So we're going to be using JavaScript to essentially pick up on any of these buttons on the page. And when the user clicks on the button, it's going to go into the ID right here, then find the image tag with the same ID and then download it. So make sure your ID here matches the ID on your image. Okay, cool. So let's make this work. Let's go down to the script tag 
down below. And we can simply say, look, let's get every single button on the page with an attribute of data dash download. We can say const download links equal to document dot query selector all, then say inside here data dash download. Okay. This right here is a list of all of these buttons on the page. If you've got multiple, they'll appear inside this list. We can now say for every single download link on the page, so download links dot for each, we're going to grab onto that button. Okay. And we're going to say for every single button, let's first get the ID out. We'll say const ID equal to button dot data set dot download. Now data set refers to all of the data attributes on the element uh, that refers to the data dash attributes, just like that. Then of course, download is just the second half of that attribute, of course, being download, which is what that refers to. We can now say const image equal to document dot gets element by ID. And then since we've got the ID, we could simply pass it into the gets element by ID function here to of course grab hold of the image tag. We can also say const a equal to document dot creates elements and pass in a just like that. So what we're doing here is we're going to use the same solution as we did at the beginning of this video, but it's going to be in JavaScript instead. So the JavaScript is going to be responsible for creating the anchor tag, adding the download attribute, and then programmatically clicking on that, uh, on that link. Cool. So hopping down below, we can now say a dot href equal to image dot source. So grab the source of the image and then put it as the href inside our anchor tag, which is currently being built using JavaScript. We can also say a dot download equal to an empty string. This here is the equivalent of doing the download attribute on the anchor tag itself. We can also say a dot style dot display equal to none. So we need to actually add this anchor tag to the page itself, but we don't want it to display it to the user, right? Because we've already got this download button. We don't need to display the anchor tag as well as the download button. So we want to make sure it stays hidden. So all of this, uh, all of this code here is what we need to prepare ourselves for the next step, which is going to be to simply virtually click on this anchor tag whenever the user hits or clicks on the download button. So down below, we can now say button dot add event listener. Let's listen for the uh, click events. Okay. Then inside this function, we can simply say, okay, document dot body dot append child. We're going to be adding the anchor tag to the page. We can now say a dot click. Let's programmatically click on that button. And once we're done, we can simply say document dot body dot remove child and remove that anchor tag once again. If I save this, go back in the browser here, refresh and click on the button, it is going to download the image. So we've basically got the exact same solution as displayed earlier, but it's done in JavaScript instead. Now this allows you to use a button tag as opposed to an anchor tag. And it also means you don't need to duplicate the image source, but instead only reference the ID inside the data download attribute. So of course it is up to you uh, which uh, one you want to use. You can use the simple anchor tag as I showed earlier, or use this solution, which has all those benefits as well as allowing you to have multiple, uh, you know, images on the page, which you can download using the button pair that goes alongside it. And that is all for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.